So be able to manage this lab, we need something called a smart console, and this is going to be installed on the Windows machine. So first question is like, what version of the smart console do we actually need? So if we check this map, we have the management station on R81.20 and the gateways on R81.10. So the correct answer for this is R81.20. So the smart console depends on what it connects to. And the smart console connects to the management station. It doesn't connect to the gateway itself. So the smart console connects to the management station and the management station connects to the gateway. Therefore, we need an R81.20 smart console. As you can see here on our jump gate, we have a bunch of different smart console. Sadly, the smart console doesn't have backwards capability. So if you want to manage an R81.20 management server, you need to have an R81.20 smart console. However, if you want to manage an R81.10 management server, you need a smart console for R81.10. So sadly, you cannot use an R81.20 smart console for an R81.10 management server. A lot of numbers here, but just remember that the smart console version needs to be the same as the version on the management station that you're trying to manage. So how do we actually find this smart console? You can find it by logging into the management station itself or the, the gateway itself, and then you can download it from CPUs. But we are going to download it from Checkpoint's website. So before you were actually able to download a smart console without having an account. So you can do like R81.20 smart console. If we do that now in 2023, Sadly, Checkpoint has restricted this access, so you need to log in and sign up. You're able to sign up with like a personal email. So you don't need to be a Checkpoint customer to sign up to Checkpoint's website. So you can create a new account with your personal or your, your work email, and then you can download software from Checkpoint's website. So I did do this before. So I will just copy paste my, my information. So now when I'm logged in and just to show you, this is my uh, like demo account. So this is actually a Hotmail email. So it's not my like work thing. So if I try to download R81.20, uh, the management console, I'm able to. So now it starts to download. So now when we have this smart console downloaded, we will just double click on it and install it. So yes. So I have read the end user agreement where I sell my soul to checkpoint. Install. So a nice thing when it comes to the newer smart console, I don't remember which version this actually came in, but this smart console also have like uh, different takes. But this will be out updatable, or this is out updatable on R81.20 if you are admin on the machine that you actually use it for. So when there is a new release and you open it, it will come up a little button say update to, to latest release. And it will just restart the console because it has already like updated the console in the background. Before, and this was really annoying. When you had the older versions, you needed to uninstall it, reboot the machine, download a new version and install it. Horrible. <laughs> so this is fixed on the latest versions. So it's, it's this for R81.10 and it's that for R81.20. I don't remember if it's for R80.40 as well, but at least it's for R81.10 and R81.20 and newer so now when it's installed it's actually referring to here learn about the demo options so if we click on this and actually check what is available for demos we can see here that there are known limitations like install a security policy database and update blades and contracts and so on but you're able to do a lot within the demo mode so i will start it in demo so 
just launch. So normally you put in your username and password and then your server name or IP address, but you're also able to do the demo mode. And you can create a new demo or you can join an existing one. So if you want to try like with multiple admins, see how it works with smart workflow or with different usernames and passwords or working together with other admins so you can see when they lock database when they lock specific rule sets and so on you can still this you can still do this in demo mode so this is a really good option if you want to learn the GUI so you can learn a lot by only playing around within the demo mode when it comes to like admin task and day-to-day -day operations when it comes to managing the firewall rule base so I will just click continue here and it will start up a new demo instance that you can log into uh, from other computers or from the same computer with different username and password if you want to. So proceed. And the first time you start up the smart console, you will see what is the news within R81.20 as like a highlighted option. And then you can check release notes. For some here, you can read S case and even some actually have, I don't know which one, uh, has like a YouTube feature. So you can actually click and see a specific video from Checkpoint on YouTube for a specific feature. So this is quite cool. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.